Vegan Burger and Weiner LLC is an independent financial planning firm focused on providing unbiased, personalized, and thoughtful guidance to assist clients in achieving their financial goals. Here to tell us more about their services is Sheldon L. Weiner. So welcome back. Hi, how it's are you? It's good to see you again. Yeah, it's good, very good. Okay, so some people, not me, but some mm -hmm. people, when should they start talking about retirement? Good question. Yeah. You should start saving for retirement as soon as possible. Our biggest enemy is procrastination, mm -hmm. people procrastinate. But you should start saving as soon as they have a steady job and income coming in. Now, as far as discussing what they're going to do in retirement and setting goals, that usually in your 50s people start doing that. Okay, because I heard that you should, like between 30 and 60s, when you really are locked in to say, or you should be locked in to save in that money because you do have that full time job, right. typically. The longer time to save, the better. Small amounts add up very quickly. Mm -hmm. Okay, so for people watching, should you delay Social Security or take it as soon as possible? We get this question all the time. Mm -hmm. Traditionally, we used to say if you're 62 and you know, you have all your ducks lined up and you're ready to retire, go ahead and take Social Security. That's changed completely in the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. From 66 to 70, your Social Security check is growing at 8% a year. Where can you get 8% a year guaranteed with no risk? Right, you can't. You can't, you can't. So getting, uh, whenever possible, we recommend delaying till age 70. Okay. Now in my case, I have health problems, my family has health problems. So I decided to compromise and I'm taking my Social Security at age 68. Okay. Well, you're almost there. I'm almost there. And, and I've been getting the 8% bump off for the last couple of years and mm -hmm. it's close enough, fits my needs. So, well that leads me to my next question. So what happens when someone retires unexpectedly? That's exactly what happened to me. Mm -hmm. My own financial plan, I planned to work till 85 or 90. I thought that was very reasonable. Wow. Turns out it wasn't. I developed some health problems, so I'm forced to retire now. My first step was sitting down and looking at my financial plan, which I'd gone over many times, mm -hmm. setting goals, what I needed to spend, where I was going to live, how I was going to live, and looking at my budget, what I was spending now. Now, in retirement, certain expenses go away. Mm -hmm. You're not uh, spending money on uh, food, clothes, transportation to work, but other expenses go up, travel and entertainment. So I decided on a goal, what I needed to live on. Then I looked at what money was coming in, all my sources of money from retirement plans, IRAs and so mm -hmm. forth, and looked and decided that I have a bit of a surplus. My software showed that I have over a 90% chance of success to meet my goals. But people tend to be very emotional about money. Yes. So I shared this with my partners so they could look at it because they're not emotional about my money, they're emotional about their money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and so we looked at it and, and they came up with the same conclusion that I am financially set. Okay. The next step of course is what are you gonna do once you retire? Yeah. That's the, one of the biggest steps. Because we um, tend to spend that money on entertainment and on food and you know. Yes, well, the, the people do spend money unnecessarily. But my big worry was what was I going to do time-wise? I was mm -hmm. used to working 40, 50, 60 hours a week and right. suddenly all this time opens up. So what I often recommend to my clients is to look at, particularly at work, what they enjoy the most. Mm -hmm. It's the socializing, it's working with the technology, uh, the committee work, whatever it may be. And once you determine that, try and find something to do that meets those criteria. Now, I like working in business. Mm -hmm. I've been in business my whole life. So I'm helping my wife. She has a Kona business where she, Kona Ice, Tropical Ice, and we now have three trucks and three different areas uh, that we're in. And so I will be helping her with a book work and things of that type. What do I like to do next? Well, I love to teach. Mm -hmm. So I have secured a position at John Hopkins teaching of all things retirement planning. Okay. So I will be spending some time in that. I want to get involved with uh, community and our so community association. So I'm looking forward to a very promising long retirement where I'll have plenty to do and that doesn't even include spending extra time with my children and grandchildren right. and my wife, which is really the most important. 
Man, when it comes well, to financial planning, Sheldon, you've got it all worked out. Oh, yes. I've spent 30-some <laughs> years doing this. <laughs> well, we need you to come back and help us with retirement planning. I'd be glad to do it. Be glad to do it. All right. Well, before I let you go, where can we find more information from Egan Berger and Weiner? On, online? or? Uh, yes, we are online mm -hmm. under Egan Berger and Weiner, LLC.com. And we appear on television. We're on radio at different times, so hopefully you'll be able to catch us. So we have a newsletter that comes out every month. And there's all kinds of great information on that newsletter. Okay, Sheldon. Well, thank you so much for joining thank us you. today. Pleasure we appreciate it. Happy retirement. Oh, Although it doesn't you. sound like you're going to be slowing down any. No, don't, don't intend to. That's the worst <laughs> thing you can do. Got it. All right. Well, thank you so much. And folks, stick around because we have more of Let's Talk Live coming up right after the break.